Hey everyone, just got this new laptop in the mail. It's the Acer Chromebook Spin 713, just released. And just want to do an unboxing for it. on the side here. Got some uh, power cables. Here's a power supply unit. USB-C charger. And the plug into the outlet. So, see if there's anything else under the laptop. Nope. Got some paperwork in here. Got your set of guide. Some more paperwork here. So, and then that's pretty much it. So take out the laptop. Put this aside. Acer Chromebook, spin 713. Look at the ports here. So on the left hand side, you got USB-C, USB-A, and a headphone jack, and a and also a SD card reader. In the back, you see some vents for the fans. On this side, you got the power button there, USB-C, HDMI port, which is kind of rare nowadays for Chromebooks, and a volume rocker up and down. At the bottom, got more vents for the fans. And top. So I'm going to power this up, um, do the quick setup with Chromebooks, and then I'll show you the insides. So I got the Chromebook all set up. Initial impressions, it's very nice. Uh, has a very premium feel to it. It doesn't flex much at all. Has aluminum on the outside. Has backlit keyboards. It's also one of those convertible tune ones. So you could turn it around and do this if you like. Convert it into a tablet mode. So, overall, very nice build quality. Something about the hinge as you as you open it. After a certain point, you can kind of see that it raises the body of the laptop here. That'll help increase the ventilation because this it does have a 10th gen 4i5, Intel 4i5. So this thing does have fans. Um, but besides starting up, I haven't heard the fans kick in. I haven't really done anything really intensive. But then again, this is a Chromebook, so there isn't too much that um, you could do in terms of that much processing power, uh, except for many tabs, which I have done, but I haven't really heard anything kick in. 
So when you first start it up, there is a whir of the fans that lasts maybe three seconds, and that's it. I uh, haven't heard anything so far. It's cool to touch. I don't feel anything. I, don't, I have no issues putting this on my lap whatsoever. Um, it's a little over three pounds, so it's not the lightest Chromebook you can get on the market today, but it's by far not the heaviest at all. So it's a nice sturdy weight. It has a glass touchpad, very responsive. Multi-touch, you can scroll up and down. Um, touch screen as well. Very nice and fluid. Uh, backlit keyboards. Uh, this, you can kind of see it here, um, how it's already backlit. Uh, there is some slight bleeding, noticeably ab above the question mark key here, um, but it's not too much of a nuisance. It does not have a fingerprint ID, fingerprint reader, unfortunately. Um, so that is something that if you're looking for in a Chromebook, um, unfortunately this does not offer. Uh, the keyboard, again, not the quietest. Um, do hear it, but it has a nice tactile feel. Um, I don't make too many spelling mistakes on this keyboard. Um, but it's not the best keyboard I've used, but it's pretty good. Not, not bad. Uh, the start of the show, I would say, is the screen itself. So it's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Um, it's a 13 and a half inch monitor, 2256 by 1504 IPS display. Uh, the laptop also comes with 8 gigs DDR4 RAM and 128 gigabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD. Um, and it has Bluetooth um, as uh, Wi-Fi 6. Uh, so this would be, you know, quite future-proof. I believe this also meets the Project Athena. Um, clean zip here, up to 10 hours of battery life. I will test that out. But just charging it really quickly, it looks like 87%. It says 15 hours left. So um, we'll see how that is. Obviously, once you put it through some videos and whatnot, that will change. But uh, overall, first impressions, it's very nice. Um, Show a video of and so this is at full volume. So you can kind of get a feel of what you can see in here, and obviously this is a really nice screen. Uh, for a Chromebook to have nearly quad HD display at this price point is phenomenal. Definitely future proofs itself a little bit because right now most of the Chromebooks now have only um, 1080p resolution. So that's definitely nice. It's not quite quad HD with this uh, 3 by 2 display aspect ratio, but um, it's pretty close to it. Uh, the speakers, unfortunately, are downwards firing right there. So they're not the greatest speakers, as you kind of heard before. But um, they're not the worst. They are what I would call your typical laptop speakers uh, quality. Um, so I think it would work fine uh, for most people. Um, if you're an audiophile, then you definitely uh, might have an issue with it. But it's not terrible. It's for everyday use, it's pretty good. Um, everything is responsive, nice and quick. Websites load up quickly. So, um, so yeah, initial impressions, it's very good. Like I said, not hot to touch. Even with the fans, you can't even hear it. Put the, I'll put the uh, right to you guys. Barely audible. So yeah. So far, I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. So we'll, I'll play around with it some more. I'll test out the battery life, and um, we'll go from there. And hopefully, uh, this was helpful for you guys. Uh, Best Buy is selling it on sale right now um, for five hundred thirty dollars. This retails at six hundred twenty-nine dollars. Uh, so for five thirty, this is definitely a great deal.